So, we got our February smallmouth. Now what? We hit our goal. Do we just stop? Just stop fishing? No. It's amazing outside. The sun is shining. It feels like spring, even though it's definitely not. Overall, all of this is about learning. And a lot of people may not care to learn how to fish for smallmouth in January, February, over winter on the yacht. Uh, a lot of people don't even fish over winter. But for me, I want to keep learning. And uh, so my first thought after catching this one was, A, I'm still exhausted today. I, I got to take it easy. I'm going to take the bike out somewhere. Trying to figure out what was special about that area. And I have a few ideas. Uh, but so my, my very next test that I want to do is I want to go back to the pier and see if I can catch them there. To see if maybe because it's been so warm for so long that those fish are biting there again. And maybe me leaving to find a new spot wasn't really the answer, but the weather warming up was. That gives me a better idea of where I could be catching them at. First, we need to get rid of some things out of this backpack and make it lighter. This thing weighs a ton. Same thing with this one. Get rid of that too. Let's see the conditions. We have steady over the last week or so, uh, drops in water flow. Our temperature has been zigzagging like crazy, but could get up to 39 or 40 here by the end of the day. Let's see if we can get a February musky or second February smallmouth. Even now it's like 50 some degrees, it's still kind of chilly. We are starting to get some clarity in the water. Not a whole lot, but we're getting some. Uh, last time I was out, I broke off on the Ned, so we're just gonna start with the musky bait. Do a little trick, let the line out. Let the line go down, lock it, and rip it. Nothing. Oh. Oh. We got it out. Well, I ruined the hook, but that's okay. At least we got our freaking bait back. Let's see what happens to the hook. It took a lot of pressure. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's still sharp. It's still sharp, dude. It's still sharp. That, that took a lot of tension to do that. Oh, you son of a... Fish it. Wasn't quite as far a cast as I'd like. It's a little better spot. Wind is blowing down, so that's going to hurt the ability for that to stay down there. I don't, I don't want to get sloppy. We got a tag on there I forgot to cut. Let's clean that up a little bit. Uh, not small. Feels like a drum. Tighten up a little bit. Feels like it just came off. Just came off. Could have been a walleye. Right before it came off, it felt like felt like I felt teeth. Could have been a big walleye. He just didn't get hooked that great, apparently. Damn, it did not feel like a smallmouth. Felt more like a walleye or a drum. But there's a fish out there. There's a fish there. I would have really loved to have seen what that was. My bet is a walleye. A drum usually hooks up really easy. Walleye for some reason, I don't know if it's because they got teeth or what, 
it uh, you, you do have like a higher chance of losing those, it seems like. Oh, well, we tried. We had our shot. We blew it. Honest guess is that wasn't a smallmouth. I think it was a walleye. Right, like the split second before it came off, I could have swore I felt a little, like a little pop, like it came off his tooth or something. Yeah, he's probably wrapping up down there and come off. <laughs> The guys wanted to take a float trip down because it's been warm all week and it's going to be warm today. And it was warm last night, so the water temperature is probably pretty high. Let's check it. Water level dropped again to 1,600 feet. That's the lowest it's been all winter. Water temperature is sitting now in the morning above 40. Oh my. It's going to be on fire. Has to. Well, we're going to find out. Floating down with Matt and Sean. Got the old Aqua Glide with the Torquedo. I think I have everything. I don't know. I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but it doesn't matter. Oh, nice. I was just gonna move it out of the window so I can close the window, but we'll put it down. Sweet. Sick. Wherever you want to go. We could just set it right here by my truck or something. Way in too, man. I'm not gonna lie. We're down in the suitors with water temples like. 40 degrees yesterday man yeah my my i just read it this morning in a hot pow it's 40 right now this shit. so like it's gonna get up like 42 oh, yeah, probably yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? without a doubt down this <laughs> way man without a doubt i still got water in the boat from the last time what the f oh my pugs in it Give it a little blow job. <laughs> <laughs> we carry mine first. You want to get the heavy end? <laughs> just <laughs> ask. <laughs> I just no, it's not that heavy, but I forgot. I didn't. I didn't left the battery down there, so it ain't that heavy. <laughs> oh, it went down. It's it's way down from what it was. Oh, back is killing me. <laughs> That's why I asked. I didn't even do anything. Triple. <laughs> Fine tune it like any other reel, but nice. Don't if that's the case, but I don't know. That's about <laughs> it. That's about <laughs> it. Those splits, dude, they're the fucking deal. I haven't used one yet. They're hard to find. Hard. Okay. <laughs> dude, that's pretty good. That's way better than my reaction was for that. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I think I gotta drop my torpedo down. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Hook myself with the jerk bait. Why do I even have this in the boat? All right, Here, my okay. Let me, guys. Let you. Let me. That you. Um. You had. You. You. You could. You do. Let you guys in on what my plan is. Anytime I have a part in the river that winds out, goes slow on a bend. If I can find on the inside of that bend where the current juts out and it's dead behind it on the inside corner of the bend, that's where I'm gonna target. Part of me wants to just rip down through this like fast as. <laughs> it's like. I don't want to hit anything though. These are pretty deep. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm skimming. <laughs> okay, enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> <Get 
skiing. <laughs> I'm literally skiing. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> First fish. <laughs> On a two. On a two. It's, it's crazy because, like, I wouldn't have suspected him to be, like, that close to the fast water, you know what I mean? Woo. There we go. We got something? Does not feel big. Oh, walleye. Son of a bitch. Standing up. Oh my god. Not a bad walleye. Not a bad walleye. There, bud. There we go. <laughs> not the target species, but I will take it. I'll take it. Something finally. There we go. Nice walleye. Very healthy. Thick guy. Look at him eyes. <laughs> I got a fish. No. 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 He is. He's probably 19 and a half, maybe a 20. He's heavy though. Oh, and they're already spawning. Look at that. Already spawning. See you, bud. Okay. We got something. Oh. <laughs> Rip some donuts. Reverse. I think I was in reverse. If I had this, there'd be no fishing being done. I'd be, ri I'm, I'm, I'm I'd be ripping donuts. <laughs> what do you do with this in here? Uh, I just shove it in the back hole and oh. then put it in that little yeah, holder. Put it in the fucking hole. Yeah, just like that. That's a fish. Another walleye. Got another walleye. I'll take it. I just, I catch walleye, that's what I do. Maybe. If he would chill the f out. There we go. Another walleye, about the same as little. Actually, he feels a little bigger. He feels bigger. I can find the walleye, but I can't find the smallies. There we go. Good measure. Walleye. No. Okay, you're being a Stop. I'm on about 19. Whew. Oh, and he, he is excited also. <laughs> See you, bud. Oh. Well, the walleye are spawning 100%. I was kind of thinking that. On the way over to this spot, that it would be a good walleye spot. 
just seeing the sand and the way the, the current stopped, it just seemed like it'd be a good spot for walleye. And they're not hitting it hard. <laughs> Hundred bucks you catch one of the buzz bait. <laughs> Can't catch a smallmouth to save my life. Can I go up this? Good question. Let's see. Not really. No, I can't. It is not fast enough. Let's go up this. That's all I can do. But this is really fast right here. in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Down the tunnel. Oh, bad idea. Bad idea. Oh my god, I almost broke every rod. Dude. I'm a f idiot. I totally forgot about all these rods. Now let's go in a tunnel. It's kind of cool. All right, we've seen the tunnel. Can I turn around? No, I cannot. I cannot turn around, so I gotta back out. <laughs> oh, I almost broke every f rod I have. <laughs> I forgot they were up in the air. <laughs> I went in the tunnel. You went towed down? Just curious. If I hold you and go down towards Matt, just see how fast we can go. All right, full steam ahead. I gotta like compensate a little bit, but it'll probably keep picking up speed. Oh, we're moving pretty good. Five miles an hour, 5.2. Where are we getting out at? I don't know. <laughs> Just keep <laughs> going. <laughs> yeah, I basically gave up. I, I can't. I if I want to catch a small, I think I have to be on a bank. So I can fish really <laughs> slow. And I feel everything. In the boat, I'm just moving around. I'm just like, I don't know. How fast are we going? 5.8. Nice. It's not bad. I mean, going down river, upper would be going like one. <laughs> Look, the thing is, I think your boat's like super efficient. I don't think I'd be going much faster without you on me. I might, I might be doing like, oh, now we're doing six. <laughs> I feel like I might be doing six and a half if I was, didn't have somebody on me. It's kind of hard to just keep the stern from kicking out. Oh, right, if we can get them closer together. 
if they would stay like that, they'd probably go even faster. Six three, dude. Six four. Six six. Oh my god. Six seven. <laughs> We're f ripping, dude. I wonder what happens if I would let go. What if my kayak would just like stop <laughs> in the water? <laughs> I don't know. Nah, you'd be fine. You'd probably just zoom off. Probably coast for like a mile. Holy f that took off. <laughs> Holy f dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I definitely just hit some rocks and just shut off. I mean, it's still good. I definitely overshot that. I was going to come up below and then come up and fish it. It's just it's too shallow. I don't know. I'll be excited to see like when the fishing's actually good, if this thing scares the fish away or not. Oh, I'm going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, are you good? <laughs> it just starts spinning right at the end. I don't see it. Your sticker's a little scratched up, but. <laughs> was it still spinning? Oh, yeah, it was spinning. Oh, it's, it was oh spinning. I shut it off, but. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think what happened was when I paddle, I hit this and it turned back on. I gotta get in the habit of just pulling his key instead of with the throttle. Well, none of us got skunked, that's good.